All right, welcome back everybody. November 22nd, run streak day 50. And 5K a day streak day 47. So getting closer to 50 on the 5Ks. That's gonna be a nice milestone for me. We're uh, on the Somerset Trail, which is a paved bike path that goes from Indianola to Carlisle. So it's a 10 mile trail, one way to the other. I'm only gonna do about probably four miles today. It's pretty late in the afternoon. Got a late start on the run today, but I'm trying to squeeze in four miles where I can. So it's quite an adventure trying to find a place to run today. We went to three other spots aside from the spot where we parked to get here. We went to Otter Creek Park, Picard Park, and Dalelski Park. I think that was the name of it, I'm not sure. And all of them had trails but not quite what we were looking for today. We were looking for a paved trail because all the unpaved trails right now are really muddy and slick. It's great weather today, 55 degrees. So not super hot and definitely not cold. It's nice, not even really any wind today. It's a real nice and calm, mild day, which is awesome. So I wasn't planning on turning around at, uh, oh, I gotta restart my watch. So I wasn't planning on turning around at 1.1 miles, but there's a truck that's just driving really slow along the trail. Just kind of, just kind of blocking me from going any further. And they don't seem to care to move out of the way or anything. And I don't really want to try to go around them while they're driving. So thumbs up to these guys. So I guess I'm taking a detour. I'm gonna go through the neighborhood over here. Now we're only doing four miles today, so I'll probably just do a little bit through this neighborhood, get my two miles, and then turn around and head back towards the truck to ensure my four. We actually brought lunch with us, but the plan was to eat lunch after we ran. And because it took us so long to find a spot, I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm running on a hungry stomach right now, which sucks. I haven't eaten since this morning. I'm a little less patient with people than I usually am right now. Kind of like those guys in the work truck. I mean, in truth though, they're driving in reverse slower than I'm running and when I caught up to them they made no attempt to communicate to me whether I should stop and let them park whether I should try to go around them just nothing they just stared at me I mean I'm over it now it's fine it's whatever we are uh, we're moving on but I was a little ticked off at the time and again usually I only lose my patience like that when I haven't eaten having some hanger management issues. So I had to stop here. There's a sign here, Vintage Hills Community Trail. Looks like you can do up to a half mile loop around what appears to be like a uh, older folks home. But also they have a sign down here, need a break. We have a drinking fountain and a restroom. I mean, how cool is that? Like these guys just kind of offer that up coming from Portland they they don't really have public restrooms in Portland I mean there's literally like a couple and that's it but most places will not let you use a restroom whatsoever Iowa's very refreshing in that sense they're very good about putting public restrooms all over the place most of their parks I would say like 95% of their parks all have restrooms in the winter they close the actual like flush toilet restrooms but they'll put you know uh outhouses or what do you call those porta potties out there and stuff so there's still something anyway because there's always times when you're out running and you drank too much water or whatever before you're running you just got to go right so it's nice that this place not only has a trail that's open to the public it's not just for residents but they also have a drinking fountain and a restroom that you can go in there and use pretty cool thumbs up for these guys i'm not really shooting any footage of like where i'm running you know like 
because I'm not on a trail or anything. I'm just running on the side of the road at this point, basically. So it's not much to look at, but I do see a spot up here by the water tower that I kind of want to shoot the uh, opening shot. I've already shot, I think two or three opening shots today at the different parks, thinking that that's where we were going to run. And then we ended up moving on. So I won't be using those at all, but I think I'm going to stop here and shoot this water tower. Well, one of the bonuses about running in the 55 degree weather is that the GoPro isn't giving me any problems because it's not cold. And I did research it a little bit more the other night. They are just notoriously bad in the cold. And uh, Hoople's cat was pretty much telling me the same thing right when I was starting to have these issues. I probably should have researched that a little bit more, but that's okay, now I know. That work truck's back up here. Unreal. Now they're blocking the sidewalk that I'm trying to run on. This is really unreal, I have to be honest. All right, just hit mile three, and we're back right at our turnaround spot, which was like, what, 1.1. So we should be right at just over four miles when we get back to the truck. So right on target. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the run here. I'm back where we parked. And I'm actually very frustrated at this point with the GoPro. I just mentioned how I wasn't having any problems with it. Warmer weather, yada, yada, yada. And I see the craziest thing. So I see something black sitting in somebody's yard. I thought it was a bunny rabbit at first. So I stop, stop my watch hit record on the camera and then I realized it's a black squirrel just a really big black squirrel which I usually don't see in town I've seen them like on the Illinois side of the river on the Illinois side of the Mississippi but I can't say I've seen them in Iowa so that was crazy then right after I spotted it a cat spots it chases it through the yard the squirrel runs up a tree then runs across the trail and then into the woods, into another tree. It was wild. That whole time I thought the GoPro was recording and let me stop my watch here. It wasn't. It recorded for about three seconds and somehow shut itself off. So none of that actually got put on camera. I also did, gave a little spiel about what had happened after I got done recording, which again, I thought the camera was still rolling wasn't so i lost all that as well no explanation as to why it wasn't recording there because it recorded about three seconds and it's not like i hit the button again so i'm getting seriously frustrated with the gopro at this point all right run's done though let's see what it was 34 minutes 21 seconds four mile 4.11 miles so good run overall good run i'm gonna put the strava information up like i usually do of course and I think I'm going to eat my sandwich, eat my lunch, and we're going to head home and eat dinner because it's basically dinner time at this point. So I'll catch you guys back at the apartment. All right, here we are back in the kitchen, whipping up dinner, doing a little bit of an experiment. So we got some veggies in the food processor here. We got some carrots, some pickled garlic, some celery, some cabbage, and a little bit of Thai basil there as well. And we're going to process this just a little bit. We don't want to cut it up too fine but I do want to cut it up a little bit smaller than what it is right here. Let's get started. Okay, so there's our mixture of the vegetables all chopped up here. Now to go along with that, I've got a little bit of tofu that I've baked previously and have cut up. And I got some warm water here. Now what we're gonna do just take that warm water, we're gonna put it on the plate here. That way we can dip these rice papers in it. If you've never done this before, it's, it's actually not really that hard, but you wanna dip it in the warm water for about five seconds, then set it on a plate or cutting board or whatever you have. 
add in your uh, ingredients in the middle, your vegetables or whatnot, and then roll it up from there. Let's get started. All right, so dinner's all done here. We got uh, lots of rice on the plate there, lots of tofu, which we baked, and then we got some steamed vegetables, just some cauliflower, broccoli, and some green beans. And then, of course, we got our little vegetable roll there. Now, I, I ended up eating one just to taste it, and it's quite good, but I, I do need to work on that a little bit. I think I chopped up the veggies a little bit too small, so I'll probably do it a little bit differently next time. And I got some sauce to uh, dip it in as well. This is just soy sauce mixed with my peanut sesame sauce. Pretty awesome dinner here. All right, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you want to see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you want to support this channel. Ring the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I drop a new video. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care.